Uh, so I decided to talk about uh, some of the used parts that I'm using on the car as opposed to some new parts or catalog parts. Most catalog parts are ready available for a hot rod. Uh, when it's a rat rod, uh, it's more acquired parts because you're going on a budget. And uh, most rat rods range between three five uh, to five thousand. If you're gonna bag it, you know you may reach eight thousand. Uh, hence, there's no paint on the car, and there's a lot of trading and bartering going around for all the parts you need. I have this piece here that I've traded. They're off. It's off of race cars again. It's a grill insert for a race car on the bottom of the uh, Rad Sport. I actually shrunk the Rad Shroud down to one that covers the radiator. I bronzed it in and I actually used this material inside of there and I find it looks pretty good, you know, like uh, for the price wise this Rad Shroud uh, came out nice. I also sanded it down to get a little bit of the patina going. This is the patina I'm going to be using throughout the build of the car. I'm going to do the headlights the same way and whatever other metals that I can make it match. I'll use it. I find it looks great. It looks like an old wore out bomber's jacket. It's kind of the patina that goes with the rat rod. Um, also, I'm going to be using the, uh, the lady, the chrome lady. Uh, she seems to be the winner on the picker's choice. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to make a bracket for her as well. She'll look good on the car. Uh, the radiator is a radiator acquired out of an older truck. It's a big four core uh, radiator. I did bring it to the rat rat radiator shop to get redone. Uh, I like a reliable red you know, because it's a big block car. Um, it's up to you which you want to use. Uh, this one for the price, it was okay. You know, with the trades I got in it, it's worth it to me to have a little bit of security in the cooling system of the car. Uh, going along with the cooling system, if you notice the radiator cap is a little bit lower than the engine, um, I'm not going to be able to fill it properly. So I acquired a uh, reservoir tank from an old race car. Once again, from a dirt track car. I'm going to mount it to the firewall. It'll be high enough. Put my ride cup on here and problem solved, you know. Once again, another part that I picked up and I got this one for free. They were going to throw it out. Um, back to most of my parts. The front carburetor and a tunnel ram, which is a dual carb tunnel ram. I've traded a carburetor. I traded a Holly for this carburetor because the Holly was too big. It, this is a 600 CFM carburetor. I'm, also, I'm looking to get another one. If not, I do have a Q-Jack. It'll work. It'll kind of work. Uh, if I can find another carter, I will. But once again, I'm trying to keep it in budget. The tunnel ram I got on eBay. The engine, I've pulled many engines out of a car and trucks. Uh, this one was one of five that I've pulled out and it was actually very clean. I just put a thumper cam in it, just for effect when I'm running down the road. This is not a drag car. It's more of a cruising type of car. So the engine runs great. The other issue I had though, like I was talking about used parts, this is a Hall Effect ignition from a GM. So um, I had it working with the engine, I had it fired up with the engine, but there's miscellaneous wires and all kinds of pieces that were matched up in it. It'll kind of work. But then I went and put the tunnel ram on the motor, and the distributor's too wide. I can't put the cap on the distributor. So I was going to source out another distributor, a points type distributor, which is smaller in diameter, and refurbish it. But the aftermarket now has one. You can get a ready-to-run distributor, fully ready-to-run, wires into your battery and your ignition system. Everything's in it for roughly 100 bucks. It's not worth it to go on eBay to try to buy a used one unless I'm running a numbers matching car and I want to keep the distributor fully original. This is a way better choice for me. It fits with the tunnel ram. It's a direct bolt-in. I know it's reliable because everything's brand new in it. So, since I saved money with the distributor, I went and got myself a set of wires. I got, uh, they're a little bit fatter wires because the engine's so big and the engine's exposed, I'm going to use the wires as a decor at the same time. Um, they have a little bit more resistance, a little bit more resistance in the wire. I opted to go get a nice brand new coil as well. So um, I did sneak out of the uh, barter trade system for the rat rod, but it's kind of like necessary parts. I think the ignition system is like the nervous system of the car. The oil system is like the blood system. You always want to have clean oil and a new oil filter. Same with the ignition system, you know, I don't want a short circuit in the central nervous system of the car. I'm going to have myself some trouble down the road. And uh, here we have those airbags. Um, I could have used secondhand airbags from an old transport truck because transports run on air. Um, the bags are a little bit bigger. They're cumbersome. Uh, I didn't want to have an issue with the airbags. I didn't want the frame hitting the ground since I'm putting this one slammed on the ground. Uh, I opted for a set, new set. They were cheap enough. Um, being cheap enough, uh, I can rely on them. You know, if I'm going down the highway, the last thing I want to have, since it's a slammed car, is losing air. I'm going to lose all my suspension and the frame's going to be dragging down the highway. 
Um, it'd make a nice spark show, but it's not fun. I have some uh, air tanks. Uh, you can readily buy them anywhere. Uh, trade them garage sales, they're really reliable. Uh, they're actually to bring air to a flat tire. Uh, they sometimes stay in some shops full of air for long periods of time. They don't lose air, they're really reliable, so I'm using those. I opted also to use uh, two trigger guns. These are main purposes to use is to put tire uh, air pressure in tires, but they have a unique feature. You can pump up a tire, and you could actually remove the air with them. The same system for the airbags uh, at a higher price with all the solenoids and bells and whistles. These were roughly 16 bucks a Canadian tire. I run them manually. Being it's on a budget on a rat rod, <laughs> they work with this one. All I have to do is pull them in and uh, put my spare reserve tanks on there, make sure I have air in them. I know my bags are going to hold. I know these are going to hold. Some airbag problem solved. Plus I got the car slammed, which is really cool. So the votes are in. Uh, the visor that I was hoping to use and trying to use, I will use. Um, it is a fiberglass visor. I will treat it to have a patina to look like the rat rod, and I'll show you how I do my own patina. Also, the votes were in for the uh, taillights from the Cadillac. Um, I was going to try to cheap out and put the other lights on in a quick way. Uh, Frenching these in actually looked better. I was going to put them in sideways in the car, but uh, we've tried different variations, and it looks like up and down is going to be pretty good on each side of the, uh, the car. And they have the three lights in them. I have my, mark, my parking light, my flasher and brake light, and I have my other parking light with an extra brake light on them as well. So they have everything integrated in them. All I have to do is cut the body out and French them in. Uh, that'll be on one of the videos you'll see in the future too, how I do these in the, in the car as well. You could pick these up at a scrapper, pretty cheap if you go get them yourself. They're pretty much available in any Cadillac from the 90s. So, if you have any questions or comments about what I'm doing, uh, go on ratradnorth.com, uh, go on the forum, uh, let me know what you think. It's been great so far, I mean, look at all the inputs we have. We have the lady in the front, we got the Cadillac tail lights in the back, the rad shroud is all done. I really appreciate everybody participating and watching my videos. So stay tuned and watch the next videos coming up. And thanks for watching RatRadNorth.com.